Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another day of 31 Days of Cut Files. Today, I am using the outside cut file. That is a title, but it includes a tree in it and it's super, super cute and I really like it. So I'm using it for one of the kiddos I take care of. And I am inking it up with some Distress Oxide ink in antique linen. And that's kind of gonna give it that yellowy tan I don't know, kind of color. Um, I really like the way that it ends up looking. This is not a color that I use very often, but it went really well with what I wanted to document, so that's what I am going to use. I'm just applying it with my ink applicator tool, uh, one of the brushes, not the sponges. I feel like this brush is going to be a little bit better because it's a little more gentle than using the sponge, but if that's all you have is sponges, you can definitely do it, and you could just have to be a little bit more careful than I'm being, and I think you'll really enjoy the way that it looks, or you can modify your own cut files that way. If you don't have this one, that is totally okay as well. Just trying to show different ways to modify cut files this month because we are using them all month long. Um, I did go over it with a little bit of pumice stone, so it kind of kind of uh, grazed it up a little bit around the outside and then I am taking a basic small text stamp from Prima. It's a really old stamp I've had in my stash for a long time and I just used a little bit of archival ink and stamped over it to give it a little bit of a mixed media feel so it's not super perfect. Um, also to help it stand out a little bit on this particular layout I have three photos of the little guy I take care of, um, and he is peeking through the little rail on this play structure, and each photo he has a different look on his face, and that's why I'm using three photos that look identical, probably on camera, but they are not identical once I remove the little post-it off of his face, which I apologize, you don't get to see his face. Um, I just have to uh, cover it up for privacy purposes. Uh, so that I can respect his parents' wishes. So hopefully you understand that. And um, this is my gift to them. I just give them uh, scrapbooks for the kids. And I think that they were they really like that. So I'm just kind of playing around with some of the nature study uh, ephemera from 49 and Market. I've got quite a bit left over in my stash. You can kind of see it in the right hand side there of my screen. And I'm just kind of playing with uh, where I'm going to place everything. I did decide to ink up my cut file a little bit more with some black soot distress ink. And the main reason for that is I wanted to help it pop off of the page a little bit more because it was uh, blending in just a little bit too much into the background. Uh, and that background paper is one of the 49 and Market pre-done pages you can order their ultimate page kits and it comes with a bunch of ephemera it's the laser cut die cuts that it comes with it also comes with I don't know maybe five sheets of paper one side has the embellishments already printed on it the other side does not this is the not printed side I don't typically use those in my regular scrapbooking as I'm going along um, I don't I shouldn't say that because I'm using it here in my regular <laughs> scrapbooking. I don't use the kit as a kit. I, I kind of disassemble the whole thing and mix and match where I want. Um, it gives me just a little bit of each collection without feeling like I have to buy the entire collection. And it gives me plenty of stuff to play with. But in this case, I already had some of the regular papers in the collection pack and I also had embellishments. I had a lot of this kit, I'm not going to lie. So um, in this case, I I found this paper that I hadn't used and I thought I'll go ahead and use that. I think it looks really good. I did turn it sideways, uh, which you can possibly tell if you look really close at some of the text on it. But a lot of times in the mixed media text, the or mixed media pre-done pages, the texts are going in multiple directions. So maybe it's not going the wrong way. I don't know. Um, but I really like the way that it looked with my photos. And so that's why I decided to go ahead and use that. While I put this together, don't forget MK's got this same cut file going on on her channel today. So go and check out what she's doing with it. If you're not part of the 31 Days of Cut Files Facebook group, I really highly recommend it. Even if you don't have the bundle of 
uh, cut files that we offered for this month. Um, you can still get those probably by this point. Um, there, there may be some available. They are definitely av available in a digital format. But um, you can use your own cut files. You don't have to play along using the ones that we had as a bundle. So go and check out the group. You'll get lots of information on how to use cut files, uh, different ways to alter them, and all of that good stuff. So go and check it out. I'll put a link down below for that and the other products that I am using today. I did use my tiny attacher right there to staple that tag on. I really like the way that that looks and just adding a little bit more texture to this particular layout. Um, that little brown piece that is over the O, it says wonder and wander. And so I thought that worked perfectly because a lot of times that's what we do. We wander at the park. Uh, he plays on the play structure. We kind of go exploring and that kind of stuff. And he really enjoys that. Um, sometimes we meet friends at the park. Other times uh, it's just him and myself. And uh, sometimes it's sometimes the sisters are with us. The sisters, I say that like they are they're nuns. His two sisters are sometimes with us depending on school. Uh, over the summer they have been with us more often. And um, we've just had a really good time being outside and exploring. We try to get out every morning before it gets too warm in the afternoon and uh, do some exploring and check out all of the things that you can find at our local parks. Um, and he really just loves it. So I just wanted to capture that. He's, he loves climbing. He loves sliding. He loves, uh, you know, making my heart jump out of my, my chest when he gets too close to the edge, but, um, yeah, it all works out and, uh, we have a good time. So I'm inking up a lot of these pieces with some of the, I, th I think I'm using walnut stain there, you guys. Um, Maybe not the black soot. I think I'm using walnut stain. I will check that. Uh, I will have to go and look at the layout a little closer and see. But um, any at any rate, I am also tucking in some of these leaves that are also from MK's shop. I will put a link for those down below if she still has any available. Uh, just tucking those in. I am out of most of the leaves from the Nature Study Collection. So I'm having to kind of just pull from other collections or create my own leaves and I really like that she had these clear acetate leaves in her um, shop so I could pair them up with different things that I am creating. I am going around the entire outside of this layout with some more walnut stain. Yep it is walnut stain you guys. There's the lid right there um, just to kind of finish it off and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out what she's got going on on her channel like I said before. Um, if you are somebody who has a digital copy of this you're going to want to stay tuned because if you haven't already been uh, watching over in the group we've been doing lives and using cut files, in, these same cut files in different sizes. So check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or comments, you can leave those down below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can, and I will be back again tomorrow with another video. So come back and see me then. Thanks. Bye-bye.